Alright, now we got them all on there. And, uh, I'm sure Grisana's good and hungry. And if she can get up to that nest, she's going to do it right now. She's trying to figure out what she can do. get into that nest and uh, I couldn't tell who that was but uh, the adult is now gone and you see her sitting out there she can't stay out there she's gonna have to eat and to eat she's gonna have to get to that nest so if she's been out there all night and all this morning, she's good and hungry, and she's going to have to make at least an attempt to get up there. And I've waited all morning to see. Uh, I was literally had the camera off the stand, ready to walk back to the house because I got to get ready for work. Literally, the moment I did that, the adult came in with the food. I've been waiting for hours. And in that moment, it's just so weird sometimes the timing. But, um, well, Versana, she you can't stay on that limb, girl. You're going to have to find a way up there. She's thinking about it. She wants to get up there in the worst way. She's going to be good and hungry. She's just very nervous. So her hunger is going to help her get over her fears and she's going to have to just make a move here. Anna's going to get all that she wants to eat. Rasana's going to go hungry. And she knows it. She knows it.
I thought it might not be too difficult for her to jump up and flap and get to that next branch and then make it up. I've seen her jump from that next branch into the nest. That's what she did the other night when I thought she was in a pickle. And she did it with relative ease. So maybe it's just fear that she's facing right now. The fear of making that jump and uh, if she misses or whatever. I mean, you know, it's still a pretty big step to think once I go airborne, I gotta have something to get get my talons on to hold her. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall. But she really has no choice. She cannot stay there.